Well, hello, friends. Uh, welcome on back to Rustic Ridge Farms with me, your host, Hillhome. Hey, it's good to see all of you. Uh, thanks for hanging out. My microphone may be too loud on these videos. I, I don't know. It's hard to tell. It is difficult to tell. Maybe we could turn up the audio slightly. It is down really far. There we go. Is that a little better? Yeah, we'll find out. Um, I'm not liking where those bars are. Although, oh, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's all right. Uh, we'll give it a try for this video. Let me know what you think. Let's do that. Okay. Let's say hello to everybody. Ah, oh, I love this. You're the best. Thank you so much. Have I spent any time with Jen today? Well, look, every time I try to spend time with Jen, she's asleep. Oh, she's awake. <gasps> yes. Oh, it's the best thing ever. So much fun. Oh, yes. I love. Okay, I'm good. Hooray! We can say hello to our child. The queen of sauce. Fruit salad. Ooh, delicious. You learned how to make fruit salad. Good stuff. Fortune teller for today. Very happy. Oh, ho, ho. Weather report for today. Rain all day tomorrow. And clear and sunny. What's going on on the farm? Five on water crops. Well, well, well. What a shock to have unwatered crops. <laughs> I have a great new. My novel is finished. I am giving a public reading at the library this afternoon. Hope to see you there, Elliot. Um, that's great. But see, here's the thing. I was going to go to the island, which makes it harder to be also at the library. Although one would assume that any library that I show up uh, any day that I go there will be the right day. So, we're going to go with that assumption and hope that it's right. Also, I think our star fruit are ready. Yes. And we're going to have to convert some ancient seeds. Uh, I mean, some ancient fruit into some ancient seeds and grow those as well. Uh, do I know where I put those? Not off the top of my head. I think that we have some somewhere. So we're going to have to check. Okay. Crab pots here. Very nice. Say hello to all of our friendly animals. Is one still inside? What are you guys doing in here? What are you just like hanging out? Having a little, little pig day here inside the, uh, inside the farm? Little barn pig day. I like it. Sir Quackers. What a great name. He's quackers. Hilarious. Okay, so that's all taken care of. How we doing down here? No grapes ready yet, sadly. And the wine is still percolating away. Okay. Well, I don't think we need these star fruit right now. So we can probably sell them. And let's make seeds out of these three. Uh, we could probably age that, I guess. Yeah, we might as well. There we go. Put things away. Put things away. Put things where they go out here. Put the bait not inside our thing yet, because we're going to need that. And we'll grab the starfruit seeds. Very good. Do we have starfruit seeds on the farm still, or do we take them? Oh, oh, they are here. Okay. Now, if I was ancient fruit seeds, aha. Well, I need eight. We don't need, you know, all of them. So that's good. Slowly, we're getting to where we want to be. There we go. One of the last steps right there. Now then, we need five iridium bars. That's what we need. Uh, and we also need to go check the well, island before we have Clint upgrade our hoe, because once we get it upgraded, uh, we're not going to be able to use it for a couple days. And so going to the island would be, well, not pointless, but uh, sir, wait, you know, before we go, hold up. 
we should grab a couple things at the farm, shouldn't we? Yes. Friends, we almost forgot. The items in the chest are right by the exit. Right here, these ones. Here we go. This stuff. The island items. That's what we almost forgot. And hopefully we find a lobster. Because I think it was Gus. Gus, I think, is the one who wanted a lobster. Uh, I believe as well we need to take out some more grubs. It's going to be a action-packed day start of Valley. Okay, let's jump right in here. We'll go on down. We'll zip on over. We'll go in here and we'll hope that there's enough grubs on this floor that we don't have to go to the cave at all. Which would be excellent. Uh, it's looking like we're not going to make it, but we'll try. We will we will give it an attempt. Oh, good. There's some more up here. Oh, yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. We're, we got to be close. Uh, it's got to be just so close right now. Well, let's get some fibers. I don't know what we need them for, but... What just happened there? We got it! Ha ha! Excellent. Do I have to turn that in, or is that just like automatically taken care of? Ouch. I got hurt. Well, well, well. Good job, sewer. Way to be beneficial today. I am excited. Now then, back to what we were doing, which was trying to get over to the island to real fast look around on the bottom screen for whatever the heck part is there of one of those skeleton things. There is sadly no lobsters. Bummer. Well. Yeah, well, we gotta be fast. It's gotta be fast, gotta be fast. I don't know if we're going to make it. <laughs> we'll see. We're going to pay $1,000 to go to the island for like 30 seconds, basically. It's okay. I mean, I'm okay with it. I just, you know, we have the money. It's not like, <laughs> not like we don't have the funds available to us. Okay. Is there any artifact spots on the screen? This is really the screen that we need them to be on. And the answer to that is no. There are there are none. All right. Well, let's plant our good friends, the bananas. Uh, where should we plant them? I think maybe on either. Oh, really? I can't plant it there? <gasps> I don't want to have to use valuable farming space for these. Well, this isn't really valuable farming space, honestly. Uh... My banana sampling can't grow there. What? what about over there? No? Hey. Game. What about up here? Oh, goodness. Look, we're wasting daylight. Okay, fine. We'll just put it in the chest. How silly. What else can go in the chest? Uh, you. And you. What is this? Are those rice seeds? Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, we can sell we can sell some of these things. Algae soup, uh, white algae, rice seeds. I don't I don't care about that. The clam. All right. OK, looking for coconut and a coconut. Looking for artifact spots. Here we go. know why I'm still compulsively collecting these. We already have mangoes growing. But nevertheless, here we are. Okay, I don't... I don't see one. There might be one on the far left, but I don't think we have time to get there. So we'll just zip back to the house. Say hello to kitty cat. 
and uh, run over to Clint's. Charge. You know, we should really try to get to the bottom of the Skull Cavern. That'd be fun times. And we'll get there eventually. Nothing. All right, Clint, look, we made it at the last possible second. Okay, could you upgrade this for me? Thanks, bud. All right, so we find ourselves without a gardening tool, and that's a bit of a shame. We could go to Skull Cavern for a bit. I don't really think it's worth the effort. Um, can we get back to the island before Willy closes up for the day? What time does he close? Four or five? I don't know. It's one of the two. Either way, we'll get there or we can recover our horse. It's one of the two. And if it's just getting the horse back, that's fine. I have no issue with it. Oh, here we go. More items. Hooray. Willie, are you open? Oh, good. You're still here. Would you mind, Willie? Would you mind taking another trip back for me? Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Don't mind me. We're just having a good old time over here. <laughs> Going back and forth. <laughs> uh, oh, fishing spot. Well, hello there. Yay, driftwood. Oh, well, look, if you're just going to give me that, then be done. Look at all the people here. Hello, friends. We really should make note blocks for the next time it rains. That would be something to make, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Sell. Sell. <laughs> okay, we should probably put the coconut somewhere. There we go. All right. Well, let's let's uh, let's look around. Uh, maybe there's some fun and exciting things that we can find out here. Like perhaps some slimes. Hello, slime friends. How are you today? Are you doing well? I hope that you're well. I would prefer it if you didn't murder me. That would be nice. You think we can manage that? Ooh, a ginger. Well, aha, more coconut. Good, yes, more coconut. We cannot get <laughs> the ginger out of the ground at the moment. Because we don't have our tool. It is in the shop. It is being remade for the last time. Hey, hey, there's no slowing down in Stardew Valley. No, 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 no. Uh, what do we need fish for? Didn't we need fish for something at the trader? I, I feel like the trader had something for us that was nice. Uh, we need, like, what? Some discus, I think, don't we? Yes, I think that's correct. Wow, that is a very excitable fish right there. Come along, then. Ooh, eyeglasses. Very exciting. Thank you so much for the eyeglasses game. I, I really appreciate them. Actually, in real life, I do appreciate eyeglasses very much because I wear glasses, and otherwise, I would not be able to see pretty much at all. So, glasses are cool. Broken ones, not so much, though. Broken glasses, not so great. But functional glasses for your own prescription? They're pretty awesome. I enjoy being able to see. Hey, look, we got another snake skull. We don't need it, but we got one. What is it? Is it three fit or is it five? I don't remember. It's either three or five. It's one of the two. We will just keep on catching. That's what we're going to do. Oh, goodness. The game is generous today with the skulls. Snake skulls Arama over here. All right, let's get the fish almost caught. Okay, there we go. Oh, and then it swam back up to me. Oh, you just wanted to be mine. Oh, that's so nice. Whoop, that was too hard. I forgot we were just trying to hit that spot right there. Oh, gracious. Sometimes you're in the middle of doing something. Oh! Hello there. 
I thought we had caught all of the walnuts that we could from fishing. Maybe I was incorrect. I could have been wrong. Did we miss anything over here? Oh, well, there's some coral. That's always nice. Well, it makes my heart glad that we don't seem to have missed out on any artifact spots. So that's nice. We can, we can happily return and put our stuff in the chests. Very nice. All right, let's go over here. We can sell some stuff. Let's see. We don't need those. We don't need that. We don't need that. I don't really need it. Well, let's keep the hazelnut because we can make a gift out of it. We'll sell our garbage. We'll sell those oysters. <laughs> we'll sell all of the trash. Uh, okay. And I... Th it's 8.30. I think we have time. Let's just run over and see if it's... If it's three or if it's five. If it's three, then we can get whatever it is. And if it's five, then we're only one fish away. So let's look. Oh, wait, it's a stingray. Hold up. I thought you needed discus for something. Hang on. Was I wrong entirely? Did we spend all that time fishing for nothing? We did. Well, diggity. I thought there was something that we needed the discus fish for. Ah, <sighs> that is truly unfortunate. Well, what a waste of my time. We need a stingray. I don't remember where those are at. Are they out here? I don't know. <laughs> stingray, are you in the ocean? And the answer to that will probably be yes. Yes, they are. But are they in this part of the ocean? That's the question. A broken CD? Ugh. Could you imagine, by the way, if you were actually fishing and you caught a broken CD? How would that make you feel? I would feel strange. I would be like, first of all, how did that happen? How did that work? How did I hook that? Because I can't even hook a fish. So really to catch anything would be astounding. Uh, I am very bad at setting a hook when fishing. That's that's really the, the crux of it, honestly. What well, fish, you seem very excited to be caught right now. That is a super cucumber. Alright. I don't think I need a super cucumber. I was just about to ask what we spent money on, but then I remembered that we're upgrading our our tools and then it all made sense to me. Wow. 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 Hey, fish, you need to calm yourself down, okay? Listen. Okay, Super Cucumber, listen. You need to just chill, all right? I would like to catch a stingray. Are they only during the daytime? Have I have I destroyed my own chances by fishing here only at night? Is that is that the problem right now? Uh, it'd be so cool if we got a prismatic shard from a chest while fishing. Oh, we're getting his bait. Today's like, your luck is super high. And then the game's going, well, but except for getting items out of the chest while fishing. In that case, your luck will actually be super low. Your luck is so good that it's bad. That's what that's what the game is saying. It's a bit like when you become too friendly with Gandhi in Civilization 4, and then he nukes your entire army. Because it, there's a bug and it reverses his hostility towards you when you max it out. And that's hilarious. Well, super cucumbers, I guess, are the way to go. It's what we're catching. Super cucumbers for me and super cucumbers for you. That's right. Oh, gosh. Oh, geez. We almost lost it right there. It was almost gone forever into the, the depths of the ocean. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, listen, uh, fish friend, I would like you to come into my inventory and live there. I know that it's a different environment for you without, you know, air to breathe and such, but you'll be fine. See, look, you are just fine. Uh, can we catch one more, maybe? No, we can catch some garbage, though. That's, that's cool. We are ridding the ocean of trash. We are performing a valuable community service right now. 
This is not a super cucumber. This is probably a lionfish. And I was right. It was a lionfish. I knew a thing. It's exciting. All right, we'll catch like one more, I guess. One more. And another lionfish. Okie dokie. Hooray. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't go to the museum. Sorry, Elliot. Listen, we'll get there eventually. Also, wasn't Elliot here? <laughs> the strangeness of the island in Stardew Valley, where someone's like, I'll be at this event, and then you see them on the island instead, and you're like, wait a second. I thought you were going to be somewhere else. We don't need any of these. It's getting late. You know, it is. It is getting late in life also right now. I just want to point out, I'm not going to tell all of you what time it is, but suf sufficient and suffice it to say, uh, sufficient knowledge and suffice it to say that it is fairly late. It is fairly late in the day. Uh, on the upside, Winston has calmed down because he's sleeping. <laughs> it's really about the only thing that calms him down some days was when he goes to bed. <laughs> He is an excitable little guy. Alrighty. Cave Patrol, $6,000. Thank you, Clint. I appreciate it. Alright, look, we got mail. I don't know what the mail says, but we got it. Uh, thanks for helping clear out the monsters. I am not scared at all. But it should make the mind safer for everyone, right? Take this blueprint. Hope it doesn't make me obsolete. A geode crusher. Huh. Hey, Hill. This item was collecting dust. I figured you might be able to use it. A battery. Okay. Um, a geode crusher. Well, what does that even look like, first of all? And how do I make it, second of all? It certainly sounds interesting. I bet it's in here. Aha! That is actually not that expensive. Here's the thing. I bet that takes time. So it doesn't cost you money, but when you're talking to Clint, you're, the time of the day is frozen. So... It's kind of nice that that's the case, you know? Because then you can get a lot done. You can break a lot of geodes. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yay, coconut. Okay, well, let's, let's check for coconuts. Do we still need the coconuts? I don't. I don't know. I feel like the items that we need at this point in time are actually um, they're just buried at artifact spots. I don't think there's anything. Oh, do we have enough? Oh, well, hello there. Well, well, well. Look who's made it to my secret walnut room. Hello. Hi. I'm truly impressed. Even though you only needed a fraction of the walnuts to gain full access to the island, you decided to push yourself farther. Your desire to enter the secret door was so strong, you went above and beyond to get inside. That drive is what set you apart, kid. You've got very special energy. That being said, you weren't under the impression the challenge ended here, were you? No. <laughs> In fact, it's just begun. Okay. Sounds good. On your left, you will find a board with some very interesting opportunities. These challenges, which I've designed just for you, will push you to your limit. All right, cool. However, if you can conquer the challenges, you will earn an exclusive currency. I call them, uh, whatever, key gems. I think, something like that. Gems. You'll earn gems. Just don't put them in your mouth. They're radioactive. Oh. You can use them to get to the things on the right rare and powerful rewards. Alright, cool. Sounds interesting, yeah? Yes, I have a feeling someone like you will enjoy this very much. Alright, cool. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have important things to attend to. 
All right, well, you know what? I'm not quite sure why you're creepily super secret high-tech spying on everyone, but hey. What do we got? Find four prismatic shards in 21 days. Are you kidding? The Skull Cavern has been invaded by extra powerful monsters. Make it to level 100 in one piece. Well, good gracious. These both seem terrible. How are you supposed to get four prismatic shards in 21 days? You know what? You know what? Fine. Okay, listen. We'll try it. I don't think it's going to happen, but... If you don't try it, you'll never get it, you know? So let's let's get to it. Also, if we do that, that will be legendary for this playthrough, and I will be super excited about it. So let's give it a good try, shall we? I think we shall. Ouch. That was uh that was me getting hurt. That's what that was. So it's a shame that we just broke all of those Omni Geodes, I guess. Yeah. That's a bit of a bummer. <laughs> um, okay. Well. Did we find any coconuts? We did. Put some more stuff away there. I mean, we could put four in his little thing, but... Place four. Do I have to find them, or do I just have to turn them in? Hold up. What happens if we just go put four in there? Do I not actually have to find them? Can I just straight up slap four in there? Oh my goodness. I am so curious right now. Um, is this worth four prismatic shards to me? Probably not, but for the sake of curiosity... It worked. Wow. Okay. Well. These are the percentages that we have. Uh, feel free to pause the video and check them out should you wish to. Okay. So. Okay. We are close, close, close to having some things done. Pressure nozzle. Place on a sprinkler to increase its watering range. Deconstructor. Destroys crafted items. Key to the town. Allows access to all buildings at any time of day. That might just be worth it. Forge these into a galaxy weapon to unleash its final form. Uh, that might not be bad. Magic bait. Seasoning. The hat. Ooh. Is this like an even larger fish tank? Recipes. Oh, goodness. The recipes. Heavy tappers, I guess, if you needed them, are cool. Um, okay, well. I mean, the magic bait recipe might be pretty cool. Um, I, let's go. The key to the town, I think, will help us the most currently. Because then... Oh, oh this is tempting. Allows you to catch fish from any season, time, or weather. From whatever you cast, you're... Wow. I mean, but they are expensive. <sighs> it's tempting. Uh, okay, let's... Let's just save the rest, I think. There are a couple things I would like. Uh, I would like the stock list and the chests for sure. So let's just save. Wow. Wow. So I really thought that the game was going to make you find four, not just have four. It didn't say turn in four in 21 days. It said find them. And so I thought it was going to be one of those like you had to find and turn it in. And then if you didn't find enough, it would refund them to you. But that's not how that worked. So that's very interesting to me. Oh, you would taunt me. And uh, Clint's probably not done with the hoe yet, right? It's only been a day, and it always takes two. So here we are. It's going to be the next episode when we get that back. I bet that was the artifact thing we needed right there. 
Ah, it's raining back in town. Ah, the lovely sound of rain. Still no lobster. Shame. Sooner or later it'll happen. I'm not going to make more of those just for the chance of that showing up. Well, goodness, I don't know what to do with this day. Oh, yes, I do. Never mind. It's blackberry season. We know exactly what we're doing. We're going to eat pancakes and we're going to go blackberry picking. Alrighty. Well, there goes the rest of this episode. We are going to pick blackberries. So put your put your guesses in now as to how many blackberries we'll find. And that'll be great. Um, we maybe put this away. That'd be nice. Okay. What do we have like regular items again? What? Where are you coming from? Look, just sell everything that's not a blackberry, honestly, at this point. There we go. Put that away. Those away. And now we have to pick all of these. Because it is time to harvest. What a terrible day for that because we weren't even here and I could have warped back, but then I didn't because I am silly. Okay, we're probably going to end up inside the shed every day that we harvest out here. And sorry, not sorry. Okay, sorry, not sorry. However, we will be making quite a bit of money from these lovely, lovely, lovely cranberries. And uh, I don't see any blackberries over here. Who planted so many cranberries, by the way? What crazy person decided that would be a great idea? You have one guess as to who it was. And no, it wasn't me. No way. It would never be the person playing the game. It's always something else, right? Right. Listen, if streaming has taught me anything, it's chat's fault. But there's no chat here. So I guess... I guess it's my fault. I can't blame anyone but myself. For coming up with the grand and glorious idea to pick all the cranberries in the world to plant on the farm. I hope nothing else is ready to harvest because I gotta say, this has taken quite a while already. Like an hour in game. Look, there are blackberries to be finding. Okay, listen, I have a quest. This is my quest. Oh, the, uh, the amaranth is ready as well. Um... Yeah, about that. That's a problem. Um, if I was, if I was Amaranth, um, I would need a sickle, wouldn't I? I would. Goodness. I did plant a lot of it too, didn't I? All right, well, let's sell some things. There we go. Put those away, put that away. Do we have corn in here, I think? Yes, very nice. To the fridge. To the pancakes. Eat the pancakes. Say hello to the child. Grab the amethyst. Hello, Jen. How are you today? Hello, child. Hello, Abigail. Oops. Oops. Ah, I seriously love it. You're the best. Listen, I try. Also, when it's just around the corner with the double check the heating system, turn off the valves and check all the insulation. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you so much. I am kind of busy today. All right. It's blackberry time. Here we go. It's on. Uh, let's go south first, I think. We will go to the bottom of the map. And we will check over here. And we're going to leave the Amaranth, I guess, till tomorrow. Oh, our honey's done. And there's an event in the rain. Oh, goodness gracious. 
Oh, Hill, it's perfect timing. Um, why are you having a picnic in the rain, Penny? I brought the children on a field trip into the countryside. You know, all about life in the country, right? Uh, I, I do, I do. So I was thinking, could you be my guest speaker? Ah, uh, sure, yeah, that's fine. Great, let's just call the kids over. Jazz, Vincent, may I have your attention? Wow, look at how big her mouth got. That's impressive. I have a very special guest here to talk to you today, our very own local farmer, Hill. He has first-hand experience living in the countryside, so he knows all about the valley's natural resources. I do. I harvest them regularly. I was just getting blackberries. Can anyone tell me what a natural resource is? Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know. Jazz? A natural resource is a material source of wealth that occurs in the natural state and has economic value. Very good. That is worth two star points. Do, do, a sticker? Is there a sticker? Yes! Now, let's give Hill your attention. Okay. Um, country life is about gathering from the wild. This valley is chock full of resources. The water is teeming with fresh seafood. Uh, seafood. Yes, Vincent. Mr. Hill, are you going to marry Miss Penny? Uh, no, I'm married already. Um, that's interesting. Behave or I'll take away all your star points for today. Oh, oh goodness, not all the star points. Well, that's probably enough for today. You two run along and play. Whoop. I love the jumping sound. Good times. It's a lot of work to take care of these kids, but I don't really mind. I enjoy seeing them learn. Hopefully, I can help them grow up to be good people. Uh, would you ever want to be a parent? I mean, I, I am a parent, so... Um, uh, sure. Yeah, big family. Me too. I'm glad you feel that way. Uh, why, why are you glad that I feel that way? I... Mm, oh my. Oh my. Abigail might be jealous. Ba -ba -ba -bom. Well, I'm glad you showed up. I think the kids had a great time. I had fun too. But I was really looking for blackberries. Just so you know, uh, that's what we were trying to find. We were not trying to find an event in the rain. We were trying to find blackberries. There aren't very many on that screen. Haha! <laughs> I guess while we're here, right? Wow! Rude! Rude, sir! That was very rude. Huh. My goodness. Another coffee. I mean, you know, we might as well grab the hardwood since we're here gathering everything else anyway. <sighs> hey, I was thinking if I play uh, the Joja run through Stardew at some point, should we make the videos one, one video per one day instead of two days? It, I asked that because it seems like a lot of people sort of they watch about the first day's worth in terms of time, and then that's it. I'm guessing what happens is they kind of jump around to find, like, more interesting parts or whatever. That's my current assumption. As opposed to just watching halfway through and then turning it off, which seems strange um, to me. But anyway, uh, it's just something I was kind of wondering about. Is sh if we do a Joja run, which will be mostly more ranching than farming, I would say. Uh, should should we perhaps just do like one one video is one day and do it that way? Hmm, that would be interesting. Anyway, it's just a thought. Just kind of wondering about that. Uh, I think this playthrough will still take us a while. We're not yet into uh, spring of year three, for example. And there's plenty more to do, obviously, before we get to that point, even. Um, so no worries there. And I, I will say, I think the next game I kind of want to poke around at as sort of the main game on the channel, uh, will be Coral Island at some point. I, I think that's probably what we'll go with next. Um, if I enjoy it, uh, I, I am a backer for Kickstarter for that game and, um, the alpha access is coming, but we are not able to talk about it or any of those sorts of things because of an NDA until... They tell us we can. And I don't know when that will be. I, sometime this fall, uh, fall of 2021, 
I don't know when exactly. I don't know September, October, November. I don't. It might get pushed back. I mean, no one really knows at this point anything uh, as far as that's concerned. So I don't want to promise something and then be unable to deliver it. But that is the game that I would sort of like to do next. At least some, you know, initial content for like, here, check out this game. It's kind of cool, you know? Um, yeah. And for the most part, the games that I play both on here and on Twitch, unless I note otherwise, uh, are games that I purchase and not games that are sponsored or I have asked for a key to or anything like that. Uh, if I do get a key to something, I, I do always mention it just so everybody knows. What's going on? I think that's important to do. Uh, so I do. All right, let's go on up here and see if we have some more berries. There's some down there by the bus stop. We're going to have to have some more espresso. There are several more places to check yet for berries. Look at all of the delicious fall forage. I will say, in Stardew Valley, fall is one of my favorite seasons. In in life, fall is also one of my favorite seasons, so it works out well. Uh, I enjoy the weather. I enjoy uh, the atmosphere. You know, things are a little bit, I don't want to say slower or more relaxed, because really that's summertime for me now, but... Um, I enjoy the leaves changing and uh, the cooler weather and... Uh, for a long time, I've enjoyed football in the fall. But, um, yeah, I just like fall. And I get to wear all my sweatshirts. I love sweatshirts. It's very hard to wear a sweatshirt in the summertime <laughs> because it's very hot. I suppose, except for when we lived, we lived for a while further south and we were in Missouri and, um, it was quite warm there. Okay, let's just check this real quick. We're about 200 slimes away. Uh, about 40 bats. We have a lot of other things there. Okay. Um, magma sprites, not yet there. Serpents, not yet there. The pepper rex, also not there. Rock crabs, not there. And mummies, clearly nowhere close. Okay. Sometimes there's a bush down here. Yep, there it is. That has berries. We're at 123, which seems like an odd number. Did did one fall in the water or something? It must have. I mean, it should be going up by fours, and clearly that didn't happen. So either one of them didn't get magneted to myself and is just laying on the ground somewhere, which is possible. Or it fell in the water. Um, I'm not worried about it either way. It, it will make guessing how many I get even more entertaining. Don't forget to put that in the comments. That is an important thing to put in the comments. How many berries is Hill going to get? And how much money are we going to make? Ooh, yeah, there's a good added twist. How much money are we going to make from the berries that we get? which is somewhat determined by, obviously, uh, how many we end up with. So, what do we got here? Pierre's Produce, offering high-quality vegetables. Do you know where we might find 25 Gold Star vegetables? Um, well, I've probably had them today, honestly, but... And what do you mean by vegetable? Does cranberry count? D uh, does amaranth count? Um, not sure. Bug guts. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want me to go get the bug guts, or can I just turn in the bug guts? Uh, let's go with the produce. I am intrigued to see if there is a reward for that. Okay, nothing there. Let's go back up to the bus stop and then over to the left of the screen, because I know that there's some there. Anything up this way? No, the horse can't fit through that gap, sadly. It's really a shame that the horse is too wide. And I don't mean too wide as in T-O. 
O, I mean too wide as in T-W-O, two squares wide, two tiles in width. Uh, it's a shame. All right, well, day one has netted us 140 berries. And never you fear, there's more coming. Is that a piece of produce, sort of, on the, on the ground? Woo, we almost missed this bush over here. That would have been a bummer. Yeah. Okay. And now we need our sickle. And I don't think I have enough amaranth seeds laying around to replant, which is a bit of an oversight, I suppose. We could plant pumpkins. Sure. They'll be ready before the end of the season, which is really all that matters. Now, this was the pumpkin field, and it's rained today, so... Please don't fall in the th stuff. That would be sad for me. Oh, and our honey. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. Let us... Plant all of this with pumpkins now. Or at least as much as we can plant with pumpkins. And uh, hopefully we have enough seeds for that. I, I don't really... I don't really know how many it was. Oh, it's late. Listen, game. There's still more to do. We're trying to get more done. I just want to plant my crops in peace. Darn time always passing. Yep, still just wild honey because our good friend, the fairy rose, is not yet quite grown in. Which is fine. It means I don't have to worry about uh, accidentally picking it, at least. I have done that before with that layout. You have to be careful when you're clicking. You can accidentally click, and uh, it's not it's not ideal. Okay, what else can we put away? We are running low on time for the day. I did not mean for that to rhyme, but it's okay. It happened anyway. All right, I'm done. I promise. I'm done with that. Oh, 23. Ah, uh, goodness. I wonder if they all have to be the same. Because uh, we have like three beats. You know? Um, we have 15 eggplant. I mean, so I suppose it's possible that we can get them just with eggplants, really. Harvest gold cloud. Oh, yeah, it did count. Okay. Okay. So, we're really close then. Well, that's great. Um, let's just keep these on us. We'll put them down here. Why do we have a winter route for? Whatever, whatever. You know what? We'll put the rest away tomorrow. It's fine. It's fine. Do we miss anything? No. Okay. Time for sleeping. Woo! There we go. All right, friends. Hey, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you all very much. Thank you for being here. And we'll catch you in the next video. And until then, friends, uh, take care.